T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Humans have been roaming the planet Earth for quite some time. We've been here for approximately 6 million years, so you would think that we're very knowledgeable of our surroundings by now. But that's not the case. Still 80% of the world's oceans remain uncharted, unexplored, and undiscovered. This is an incredible number, and it appears that we know even less about space. To this date, scientists have only explored about 4% of the visible universe with telescopes. So a lot is to be further investigated. Two companies are leading the way for future discoveries. They are SpaceX and NASA. These two are very different and have sometimes come head to head in recent years. But how exactly does their relationship impact the future of space travel? Well, start your engines because in today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the SpaceX and NASA interrelation. Launching humans and goods into space used to be dominated by government agencies that worked with large aerospace companies only, but not anymore. In the past two decades, startup space companies have proven that they can compete and in some cases outperform their larger counterparts on their own. There's no better example of this than SpaceX, the Hawthorne, California-based company that lands their used rocket boosters creating scenes that seem straight out of science fiction. In this story, they are the underdog that emerges victorious. But let's not get ahead of ourselves now and know that both of these organizations are a little bit better first. How did this begin? On October 1st of 1958, one of the founding fathers of space travel, President Dwight D. Eisenhower, established the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA for short. Most space achievements that took place in the US during the early days were accomplished by them. For example, from being the first agency taking people to the moon to creating the first US satellite, NASA is a government agency in the United States that's funded by taxpayers and has more than a dozen locations across the country. Their budget is set through a political process, with nearly half of it going to the human spaceflight program. Another third of its budget goes to its science division, which includes Earth science, astrophysics, planetary science, and heliophysics. They also send out spacecrafts to investigate and explore planets and other worlds. In addition, NASA conducts aerospace research and provides funding for different space technology development initiatives. According to studies, the agency provides the United States with a broad range of social and economic benefits. Decades later, CEO Elon Musk, who is known for founding the electric and self-driving vehicle company Tesla, also created SpaceX. This American startup had a single purpose in mind, to colonize Mars. Musk always had a dream to make humans a multi-planetary species. According to him, humanity's long-term survival is in danger if it stays limited to just this one planet. Sooner or later, some disaster, maybe a supervolcano, asteroid, or nuclear war, will end our stay here. Musk hopes that colonizing another planet would help reduce the strain on ours, which is running out of resources fast. Musk has done incredibly well for himself. He and his crew have been able to transform SpaceX from nothing to something magnificent. Well, when I say nothing, it doesn't mean that he started without any money. Before Musk launched SpaceX, he had many other companies. One of them is PayPal, an online payment service provider that he sold for $1.5 billion and used the proceeds to later launch SpaceX. NASA is mostly known for its International Space Station, a low Earth orbit space laboratory that's 408 kilometers above our heads and traveling at a speed of 7.66 kilometers a second. That's more than 17,000 miles per hour. It was launched in 1998 as a joint venture between agencies like the American NASA, the Russian Roscosmos, the Japanese JAXA, the European ISSA, and the Canadian CSA. This global endeavor was designed to advance our research while also serving as the world's first permanently manned Earth-orbiting station. Other achievements include the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 space probes, which have already traveled to Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Both of these space probes have since gone beyond what was previously thought ever to be possible. Voyager 1 entered interstellar space in 2012, a place beyond the heliosphere where the sun's heated winds collide with a cooler and denser medium. Voyager 2 crossed the boundary six years later, carrying with it a first kind of sensor that will allow scientists to perform new types of measurements. SpaceX is a company that is still in its infancy when compared to the established NASA, which has a much more multinational reach. The company's most popular rockets are the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The booster stages of these rockets usually return to Earth for refurbishment, allowing the company to save money and undercut competitors' prices. However, SpaceX's earlier launches were far less impressive than its present-day Falcon Heavy and Starship ones. 
In 2008, one pandemic and two administrations ago, the Falcon 1 became the first ever liquid-fueled and privately manufactured launch vehicle to make it to orbit. It was powered by a Merlin engine for the first stage rocket and a Kestrel engine for the second stage. You might think that these companies are similar to one another, but in reality, the two organizations are quite different. SpaceX is a for-profit company that has started from scratch and is one of the few startups that smile to the banks today. NASA, on the other hand, is a government-owned and funded organization that is free to explore scientific breakthroughs that are not directly related to profit. In addition, their ultimate goals are worlds apart. While NASA aims to expand mankind's knowledge and stimulate discovery, SpaceX aims to use extraterrestrial resources that may one day help us extend our wings. The only similarity between both companies is their shared interest in space exploration. But without the contributions and investments of SpaceX, spaceflight as we know it today would look very different. It all began in the early 2010s, when the US government offered financial grants so private companies could build rockets instead of manufacturing them by themselves. They gave economic incentives to global commercial providers. NASA's commercial crew program, which was developed during the Obama administration, opened a new era of human spaceflight, including the NASA company purchasing seats for its astronauts in the recent SpaceX launches. In 2011, NASA retired a space shuttle program after 135 missions so it could direct its funds toward long-term ones to the moon and eventually Mars. Since then, NASA has been paying Russia's space agency as much as $90 million per seat on their ship. By comparison, a seat on the SpaceX Crew Dragon would only cost $55 million. This still is a lot of money in the real world, but it isn't as expensive in contrast with the price of the other spaceflight companies. Musk's experience, cost-effectiveness, and vision caught the eyes of NASA, who also was impressed by SpaceX's track record. And so, in 2008, the agency signed contracts with SpaceX to build and fly their cargo vehicles to the ISS. The idea worked. Not even a year later, the shuttle program ended. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft made the record of the first docking made by a private spacecraft with the ISS. They also became the first commercial enterprise to send NASA astronauts to the ISS in 2020. SpaceX became a game changer for NASA in terms of cost. So, how did SpaceX outrun NASA? Well, SpaceX was one of the first businesses to receive money from NASA. The company was just four years old at the time. NASA paid for roughly half of the cost to construct SpaceX's workhorse, Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX is a long-term winner in terms of profitability because as a private firm backed by government grants and payments from payload companies, it only has to keep up business as usual to continue launching rockets. The fund that SpaceX receives from the US government for various projects is helping the company to position itself as a leader in the space launch industry. As of now, the company has secured several milestones. In 2008, the Falcon 1 rocket became the first privately funded liquid propellant rocket to reach orbit, and in 2010, SpaceX became the first private company to launch a new version of their rocket, the Falcon 9, into orbit. But these aren't just a couple of firsts for Musk. These milestones prove that SpaceX's rocket technology and engineering talent can be trustworthy to launch cargo and satellites into orbit. SpaceX will ultimately replace all their rockets and spacecraft with Starship. Engineers are utilizing all their previous technological achievements and knowledge to develop this next-generation craft with the promise to take humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The first prototypes of the new craft are currently under construction in Texas and Florida. We will see a series of test flights within the next year. But that's not all. SpaceX is also encouraging exciting innovation, such as its creation of reusable rockets, which lowers the cost of space travel and makes Musk's high-profile aspirations, such as placing humans on Mars, appear more achievable. SpaceX has also rekindled the public's enthusiasm for spaceflight. Each rocket launch and landing is a spectacular event thanks to the company's use of live streaming technology. In fact, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy launch was YouTube's second biggest live stream ever. The space industry has not had this level of public attention and excitement since the moon missions. The interest in SpaceX's efforts, which are often in partnership with NASA, have inspired and motivated new generations to pursue exciting space careers. Now, all we have to do is wait for SpaceX to return humans to the moon and place the first people on Mars to establish itself as a prominent leader in space exploration. Yes, NASA might have many launched missions and may still have probes that are still active in the interstellar space, but SpaceX has already proved itself to be a force to be reckoned with. When the contract was awarded in 2014, no one could have imagined that six years later, SpaceX would turn out to be the giant it is today. One was an established giant with a legacy in aerospace that stretched back more than 60 years. The other was a newcomer that was mocked as nothing more than a delusional billionaire's fantasy. But Musk did everything he could to get where he is today. He slashed production costs, built reusable spacecraft from the ground up, and beat out a 60-year-old aviation giant in the process. 
The Crew Dragon launch marked the end of an era which only government-owned spacecraft were capable of making giant leaps for mankind in space, and we can't wait to see what other space innovations Musk has up his sleeve. Do you think SpaceX is better than NASA? Let us know in the comments. Like the video if you do, and don't forget to subscribe with post notifications for more.